hello welcome back to our talks uh, as you can probably see I am wearing a machine head in the morning man t-shirt so this means it's a heavy metal memories episode Ooh. Um, <clears throat> so I got to see machine head in the morning March on their what did they call it it's called the Vikings Lines tour and I'm just going to briefly talk about that gig, that gig, uh, the, that concert that I was at, and I mean, um, I'm going to talk about the gig, how it happened. So first up, the first band to perform our support support for Amona Marant and Machine Head. They were called Halo Effect. Now it's a new band. They've only formed about two years ago, but the people in the band, they've been, you know, they've been childhood friends. They've been playing together for years and stuff. But for them to come along and support, like, you know, one of, I would say, one of the best Viking metal bands in the world and to be supporting Machine Hand, who, you know, in 30 years have released, what, like 11 albums, you know, another legendary uh band like they they completely blew me out of the water they were like i was listening them to them before but you know for a band that like i said it's only two years to be performing alongside such other great bands that's the likes of you know for two-year comic was open up for dave Chappelle in madison square garden that kind of um uh, energy and I don't know what else to say. This uh, t-shirt is actually pretty cool because it was like a combined. Take take the mic out of the way for a sec. Um, it's you know it's got like one half is a lion, the other half is a Viking, and they have they're all. I'm even. This one you can even see my machine head patch. Um. And it was cool because on the sleeves this is the berserk crew logo which is berserk crew is basically all the staff that help uh more than marriage during their gigs and on this sleeve obviously the machine had logo so it's really cool on the back as well there is tour dates well i'm not going because i won't be able to see the camera when i turn around um but i think it's like a really cool t-shirt um i always try and get tour t-shirts because i was gonna i already have a machine head t-shirt and when I was at the merch stand, I was like, oh, yeah, definitely um, have a look at that. So the next band to play was Amon Amarit. Now, I have to say the Amon Amarit uh, mosh pit was pretty great. Um, unfortunately, a lot of people lost their phones at that mosh pit because it got a little rowdy and some people started stealing phones, which was not cool. I was kind of disappointed about that. Um mainly because like I've said before the heavy metal uh, group or whatever you want to call it I, you know like I said I would consider us one big family it's just wasn't a cool thing for people to go around stealing other people's phones and stuff like you know um, but that just shows the intensity of the pit at a on the because phones were flying literally <laughs> um, it was it was fun, but I mean, it was uh, maybe a little intense. I think the most intense pit since before that was probably Slayer when I had shin splints. Like I told you, the story got knocked down and got picked back up. And yeah, and then Machine Head played for I think about an hour, 20 or 30 minutes. There's a little fly. Goodbye. And. Like the, the you know obviously they rocked they played some uh, new songs from their new album, so did uh, Amon and Mars. Halo Effect have just released their album, so they, they don't have a back catalog of stuff to play. But nevertheless, it was amazing performances from all three bands. Really good stuff. I'm really happy about that. And you know afterwards going down the fibers, hanging out with friends and family and that. And I think that's pretty much it. Like, I mean, like I said, pretty cool tour t shirt I managed to snag because they did sell out fairly quickly. And 
trying to think about other things. Like I said, a bit disappointed people were stealing stuff, but otherwise really good gig. Um, no pyrotechnics for Amon Amart, unfortunately, but there was a lot. I mean, a lot for Machine Head. Um, I got managed to get to be pretty close to the front of the stage in the front standing area. So anytime the flames went up, you could feel like it was a lot. It was a, a heat intensity. And you definitely felt that the people in the front row, my friend's brother was standing in front row and he was like, he took the two t-shirts that he bought and he just put them in front of his face because it was like fairly intense heat. Um, they shot confetti up into the air twice. That was actually pretty cool. Um, what else? I think it's about it, about the concert. I don't think there's any other kind of outstanding highlight and features um oh yeah but rob did his usual thing where he brings out an acoustic guitar and does like a slow set he talks about um you know basically talked about COVID and how they started electric happy hour and that you know they really felt kind of reaching out to the fans during a very difficult and hard time but we all stuck at home or you know kind of pushing through covid situation and whatnot and um so yeah that is that i can't remember what i was talking about but yeah it was just like i said wrap up of the gig um pretty happy pretty good uh in terms of comedy like i said i told you about no yeah I wouldn't be sure about when I do comedy next and whatever else and um I don't know I keep losing trail of thought but yeah so oh yeah what, what I talked about um like I think in a previous episode said I wouldn't be sure when I be what well, I wouldn't be sure when I'm be doing comedy next but I did a gig there the this week um, which I will talk about next week's episode. And that about pretty much wraps it up, I think, for this week's episode. Um, pretty happy with, you know, the gig. Um, Machine Head, like I said, Amon Mart and Halo Facts all rocked it out. Disappointing that people got their phones stolen, but I don't know, I suppose you can't control everything. And it's, it's unfortunate that it happened. Um, I really do hope that people get those phones back, but we shall see. But other news, I don't think I have any other news other than next week's uh, podcast, which I'll be talking about the comedy gig. But I think that is pretty much it before I go, as per usual. Um buy this podcast sticker to support my podcast um it is two euros 50 in euros and if you message me on social media or email me i'll get one out to you um you can also support me on buy me a coffee and links to all of that is in the description the link tree where you will find links to all my social media and all my basically a bit of the access all the pages that I'm active on I think that's yeah I don't think there's anything else really um like I said I'm not sure about upcoming gigs other than Stitches New Material Night which is on the 4th of November no uh, second, second. Um, four to the, my friend's wedding, which I'm going to. And I think that is it. I think in October I might have one gig, but I'm not sure. Uh, as always, I'll let you know on the podcast anyway, and we'll take it from there. But as usual, thank you for all the support. Thanks for watching, and 
Thanks for listening, watching, and engaging with me on the platform here. Uh, I think that, yeah, that's it. Um, bye, and I'll see you next week.